Okay, in this video we're going to demonstrate the setup and initial operation of the Hydrogenie. Um, after you've unpacked it and made sure there's no damage, um, gotten all the uh, packing peanuts out of the way, um, the next step is to uh, place the Hydrogenie on a level surface and uh, locate the packet of electrolyte mix. And again, I'm, I'm following the assembly and first use instructions on this sheet of paper. The packet will be in one of the bubbler cups for safety while it's, while it's transported. Just unscrew the cup. You'll take out the packet and you can leave the cup uh, set aside. So we're going to carefully open the, uh, the electrolyte packet. Now read, make sure to read all the warnings and cautions about the electrolyte mix um, as you don't want to get this on your skin or in, um, in your eyes or uh, um, spill it anywhere except in the Hydrogenie. So remove the cap and we'll set that aside. We're going to insert a funnel and we're going to open the packet of electrolyte mix carefully and then we're going to pour it in all completely into the Hydrogenie. So make sure that it's poured in, tap it down, make sure that it all goes in. There may be a little bit of uh, hardening and crystals on that. Um, that should be fine. You can set this packet aside. Now at this point in time, we're going to add water to the Hydrogenie. So you just pour this in. Oh, one thing you do want to do is before you start with water is just kind of put a towel around things so in case there is a, a spillage or accident you don't get it on any of the electrical components. So we're going to um, now pour the electrolyte in um, and we're going to leave uh, some space on the tube so we can actually see where the level is. So we're going to pour up to about halfway. So just pour in the water. I'll put it in front so you can see. Take it off the front there. We're going to pour it to about halfway full up the tube and then we're going to wait for the bubbles to end and go down the tube. There's some settling that's going to occur and then we're going to continue filling to about three quarters of the way up the tube and make sure that it's uh, finished settling. So about there is about uh, where you want to set it for the initial initial um, filling. Okay, then take out the, the funnel. You can remove the protective covering. We're going to replace the cap on the hydrogen. And now we're going to fill the two bubbler cups. There is a uh, maximum line and you can fill just a little bit above that. That's fine. So we'll fill those cups now. And this is only distilled water, so only use distilled water at all times with your Hydrogenie. When you place these in, make sure that they are not cross-threaded, and we'll do a test to make sure that that's not the case. Um, remove the back cup and do the same thing, fill it up to just a little bit above the maximum line is fine. Okay. Again, make sure that it's threaded in right and just hand tight. You don't have to over tighten those, um, those tops. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in the Hydrogenie. And when it's plugged in, and when it's plugged in, you'll see these lights illuminate and flash three times. Once you verify that the lights are on, we're going to press the one minute button to make sure that everything is working. And when the bubbles should immediately start there. And they'll also come in and start bubbling through the gas purifying cups. The fan will also turn on and run the entire time that Hydrogenie is on. Now we want to do a test to make sure that all the connections are correct. If you don't have bubbles, there's a troubleshooting video um, and it talks about it in the uh, manual about how to diagnose if there's a problem with any of the um, gas purifying cups. So what we want to do is we want to get a glass of just normal water 
and we're going to put in the, uh, the infusion stone and then we're going to connect it to the hydrogen and within a few seconds you should be getting gas coming out and infusing into the cup. Once you see that uh, gas coming out, that actually puts a little bit of back pressure on the system and make sure that there's no leaks here or anywhere and the gas will be flowing out. And that concludes the setup video.